<sighs> Let's get it ready for some scary stuff. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I will be doing something a little different than my normal videos. This has obviously been all around YouTube and done before, but I wanted to kind of dig deeper into a little bit more of a different side of all these stories. So what I'm talking about is scary or urban legend stories that have happened at Disney World slash Disneyland. I will be just basically stating these stories that have happened and these theories that are happening and kind of just putting my own input and thought into it. Hopefully some of them are new. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first story is obviously going to be about Walt Disney. There is a rumor going around stating that Walt Disney froze himself. I've heard different things. I heard that it was his body and that it like they chopped his head off and then froze his head so that in the future they could unfreeze him and he'll be alive in the future. That sounds like something Disney would do. Like let's be real. They said that his body is either under the Disney castle or under Pirates of the Caribbean ride. Part two, he roams Disney. Like he still as a ghost roams around Disney because that's his place. That's his happy place. Like he's gonna kind of want to stick around you know. They're there was a story about how there's like people who still clean his apartment or or office I'm not sure exactly what it was it's above the fire station on Maine there was a story of one lady who was working and she went up cleaned the spot realized that the light was on so she turned it off finished her work went downstairs looked up at the apartment and saw that the light was still on so she just thought herself like oh I just forgot she went back upstairs turned it off went back downstairs, looked back up at the apartment again, and realized that the light was still on. So she thought it was just a short in the circuit because who would have thought that it was a ghost or something? She went back upstairs, unplugged the lamp, and went back downstairs. She looked back up one more time and saw that the light was still on and the blinds were kind of drawn to the side as if somebody was looking down at her. Since that story has happened, the employees and everybody there now know don't turn off the light. Leaving the light on. Also a tribute to Disney is saying like his story still lives on and it's also a nice thing because you know he still might be a ghost and want some light so I mean why not leave it on for him. The second story or creepy thing that there is also another ghost on Space Mountain. Space Mountain is such a dope ride. <laughs> In this one, there is a ghost called the Friendly Ghost or Mr. One Way. What this ghost does is stand in line with everybody else and he talks to them and makes conversation with them. And people have said that he's been like an old man or a little boy. So he doesn't have like one form. They said that once you start talking to him, you realize that he's not from this time. He gets in the single rider's line That's the thing. and he goes on the ride with a single rider before the ride ends passengers have said that they realized that there isn't a person by them anymore like there was somebody who got on them who talked to them who just rolled the ride with them but at the end there's nobody there i would have freaked out like there's somebody missing who fell off the space mountain so like help i think that's just a common Thing now workers and passengers have just learned that that's just a ghost and nobody actually like died right on by them so the next theory story I still don't know what to call these is about the haunted mansion so the story is that a lot of people for some odd reason like to spread the ashes of their dead you know family members or friends or something across the ride. I think just cause like, you know, haunted mansion, ghosts, people just think that kind of goes together. Like imagine being on the ride and just getting a bunch of dust in your face from the person in front of you. Like that's dead people does. There's one particular story stating that a mom sprinkled the ashes of her dead son on the ride. Turned out that the dead son, that's not where he wanted to be laid to rest. They call him the crying boy or something along those lines. I can't remember specific, there's a specific spot where you can like hear him cry and it's also the haunted mansion so people just assume it's part of the ride. There has been photo evidence of a boy peeking over one of the ride seats and you can see it kind of looks like a ghost. The next one is a very short one. It is about the Pirates of the Caribbean ride quick little thing there's supposed to be three jack sparrows on the right so if you count and you see a fourth one that was most likely johnny depp 
in character as Johnny Depp. As Johnny, Johnny Depp in character as Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp in character as Jack Sparrow. One thing about that as well, there is a like captain, I think it was, on a bed with all his gold. And there's a skeleton head on top of like the bed, like on the bed frame. And people have stated that that was a real human skull. Disney wanted to make everything as authentic as they possibly can to make it look real. They actually got real bones to put on the ride. There's no way to really see if that's true or not because you're not going to jump off the ride and try to pick it up and do some kind of scientific test on it. It is kind of creepy, but it's kind of cool at the same time because they went that kind of length to make you feel like, hey, these are dead people. So with Disney being such a big park, there is bound to be some lost kids. Disney has claimed to have never had a kidnapping before, but there is a rumor that in the 1980s, there was a satanic panic. The story goes that there is a mom and her child that went to the park. The mom was like distracted, like turned around to see something. A guy snatched the kid out of the stroller, took him to the bathroom, dragged him so he wouldn't like be loud and fuss around. Either cut his hair or dyed his hair, wrapped him in a blanket, but also like changed his clothes, tried to go through the front gate to leave. But obviously by the time he's done all that, the mom realized, yo, my kid ain't here. So she ran to go get security and security was like obviously on top of it. They stood at the front gate and the mom realized that this guy had her son wrapped in a thing, like a blanket, because he had the same shoes and they didn't change the shoes. So that's how the mom recognized it. Last but not least, the one thing that everybody just wants to not be true with the one thing that everybody is a little bit scared of it's a small world there have been claims obviously make your own judgment on this that the dolls actually come to life at night i haven't found like specific stories of people claiming things there has to be some out there if this claim has been made if that's true imagine all the other things that come to life at disney so that's the end of my video. I'm so sure there are so many more creepy things that have happened. And if I do find more information, more stuff, I might just do a part two. If you really enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below some new things that you have found out about Disney or some things that I've mentioned about Disney that you like to be in like a new video. Also remember to subscribe because I'm trying to hit 300 subscribers. And once I hit that goal, I will be doing a giveaway. I will be giving away gift card and and some Margaritaville merch, which are super dope. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the week, and remember, be the reason somebody smiles today. Bye, guys.